Hi, my name is Faisal and in this video we will be uh, discussing how to use full aim, full background images across different devices. Uh, if you are working with DV and WordPress you might have noticed that uh, you are not able to see full background image across different devices. For example, uh, on this page, we are using this image and we are not able to see the full background image. Uh, and we, if we switch to tablet or phone view, or if we just responsibly on front end like this, then you can see that uh, we are seeing a part of the image and not the full background image. And uh, in this video, I will be uh, skipping things like using top and bottom padding or using different images across different devices or uh, option like uh, fit background image. It does show the full image, but as you can see that it's not full width. So we'll be using some mathematical calculations and uh, we'll be using cover image and uh, if we are able to uh, have our background image and our container in same aspect ratio then we will be able to show full image across different devices and the formula we'll be using is height divided by width multiplied by 100 and whatever is the result we'll be defining in VW unit you can learn about VW CSS unit from internet. Okay, let's begin. Uh, the size of our image is uh, uh, 180 by 672 pixel. Open the calculator. And uh, 672 divided by 1080 multiplied by 100 is 62.22. Uh, let's go to the design tab of uh, module section or whatever you are using. On different unit in VW. Okay. As uh, you can see that we are able to see full image across different devices. Uh, uh, but in this case, as you can see that in mobile, uh, the title size is a bit large and the contents are overflowing. So we will have to adjust that as well. Uh, let's open the responsive sizing option for mobile and reduce the font size of the title. Okay, 24 pixel for the title. Mm, okay, and we'll also reduce the font size of body contents as well. Uh, I think tablet and uh, my desktop is fine, so we are not touching that. Uh, let's reduce it to 12px. Okay and uh, same for the button size okay and let's save some more space by reducing the top padding Uh, set it to 5px. In this case, we have padding on section as well, so we are using a small value. We can even use 0px, so it's looking good. Uh, as you can see, that I can see full image and contents are looking good across different devices. Uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon I am uh, a new youtuber and see you with more videos in future goodbye